Well, hello, uh, my name is Ron, Alpha Alpha A, Papa India, and I'm here today to give you my first uh, episode of what I'm calling The Hiking Ham, where I'm going to talk to you about uh, my adventures out uh, hiking and doing ham radio out in the woods, and uh, today I'm going to go through uh, what I carry with me in my backpack when I do uh, hiking on the trails. So uh, let's get started. So what we have here is the uh, Osprey Talon 33 lightweight backpack. It's a great day pack, overnight pack. It's a uh, 33 liter capacity. And I use this to carry all my equipment when I'm out portable hiking out in the woods. And uh, with this system, I have uh, three complete antenna systems, which include the uh, very portable uh, Elecraft AX1 uh, whip antenna. I also have the option of a uh, buddy pole antenna ranged in a, in a vertical with a uh, counterpoise wire and I can operate the buddy pole at 20 meters and uh, 40 meters. And uh, also I have the uh, PAR NFED uh, 20, 30, uh, 40 meter NFED antenna that I got from uh, Vibroplex, and I found that to be a great antenna for uh, portable use. Uh, the transceiver that I use is the uh, Elecraft KX2, which has the internal battery, the antenna tuner, and also uh, an external uh, three and a half amp hour uh, bio NO lithium iron phosphate battery. Also uh, with the pack you'll see I have the uh, mini tactical uh, expandable uh, telescoping uh, fiberglass pole that I got from uh, soda beams. I use that with the NFED antenna. I also have a, uh, a uh, Trekology uh, small table that folds up and you'll see that that's also inside the backpack. And to the left of the backpack hanging off the carabiner is a small uh, lightweight uh, chair, the travel chair, that I can use uh, for uh, sitting. So uh, let's open up the pack and uh, take a look at everything that's in there. And I should point out that the pack with all the equipment that you're going to see only weighs 20 pounds. So it's uh, very lightweight for taking a, a two mile, three mile, four mile, you know, whatever hike into the woods and operating ham radio portable. Okay, so let's uh, let's first take a look at the uh, the portable chair that we have on the backpack, and this is uh, very easy to use. You can see it just pops right open like that. I can swing back a little bit and give you a chance to to see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I've had good luck using this chair out in the field. The only thing you want to watch out for is. Uh, soft ground because it will tend to uh, sink into the ground if you're not careful. Uh, the next thing we have on this side, in these side pockets, uh, we have the, uh, the Soda Beams uh, Tactical Mini. I can get a better shot of that. So that's the Tactical uh, Mini. This fiberglass uh, telescoping pole expands out to about 20 feet. And I'll show you in a little bit that uh, there's a guy wire system that will uh, hold it in a nice vertical position. And I've actually had it out on very breezy days and uh, very, very stable uh, system. Also, uh, when I'm using the, uh, the tactical uh, mini uh, pole, when you uh, use the NFED wire antenna, you need to uh, support each end of the wire. And I carry with me uh, two of these uh, trekking poles, which are really nice to use to hold the ends of the uh, end fed wire in place. And they just pop right open, as you can see here. I've got it uh, expanded out. You just jab this end down into the ground and then tie off the uh, end of the uh, end fed wire to the pole. And that's what we have over on the other side pocket. 
we have the other trekking pole here. So I let me get this guy out so we get that out. And it's the same story here. All you have to do is un undo the, the Velcro here and it just pops right together like that. And uh, basically just set up the, uh, the tactical mini, hook your uh, wire to the top of the tactical mini and then the ends just attach to the uh, trekking poles. And also if you're going overnight and you take a nice lightweight backpacking tent, there are backpacking tents out there that uh, will use your uh, trekking poles as part of their support system. Also in the side pocket, I carry uh, two of the uh, 22 inch uh, aluminum extension poles for the buddy pole when it's arranged in a vertical orientation. So that's what we have here. These are the two 22 inch poles. And then this here is the uh, 19, or rather the nine foot uh, whip antenna that is at the top of the, of the buddy pole. And uh, since I'm portable and I'm hiking in the woods, I don't carry the, uh, the uh, buddy pole tripod or the buddy pole uh, extension uh, pole system with me because of the weight. But what I do like to carry is just a, a painter's pole. So what I have here is a uh, yellow uh, colored painter pole with uh, an aluminum piece that extends out up here at the top. Uh, I've got the buddy pole uh, adapter on the top of the painter's pole that screws into the uh, uh, diversity. And then I can uh, ex you know, build my uh, buddy pole vertical antenna. Uh, you'll see that the soda beams uh, ring will fit around this particular uh, extension pole here. And then with the guy wires, I can uh, guy this in place in a vertical orientation. I also carry, uh, you'll see in a moment, a couple uh, uh, bungee cords that I can use to just strap this to a, to a fence or, or to a park bench or something like that if I don't want to use the, uh, the guiding wires. And, and this painter pole is very, very light. I also use it as a, as a walking stick, so it's nice just to uh, give you some stability while you're walking. And when it's extended, it's just a little bit over eight feet in height that gets my uh, buddy pole vertical up into a nice uh, elevation. Okay, then up at, in this top area here is a zippered uh, pouch that uh, I'm going to try to get open here. So we open that, and in here I just carry uh, various items. Uh, I've got a, a sm small uh, battery pack here that I could carry along with me as a spare for uh, to give me some power for my phone in case my phone batteries start to uh, go out uh, on me while I'm out in the field. And uh, another buddy pull. Uh, painter pole adapter in case I, I break it or lose it. Uh, also got some uh, a spare part for my uh, Heil headphones that you'll see in a moment. This is for the uh, microphone extension in case I break that while I'm out in the field. Uh, extra pen. Um, let's see what else I got in here. 9 volt battery for my uh, antenna tuner and a, uh, a lightning USB uh, plug cord for my iPhone. And let's see, another battery and a spare uh, BNC uh, connector. So that's what I carry up there in the top pocket. And uh, now let me uh, open up the, the backpack with these little clips here. Take the clips off. Uh, you can see I, uh, I carry a nice little uh, foam uh, seat pad here. Sometimes when you're out in the field, 
you might want to sit down on something and it's uh, it's hard or it's wet but uh, kind of use this as a little mat to put equipment on and so on it folds up very easily and it's uh, extremely light Uh, in this pouch here, I carry with me a 25-foot uh, coil of uh, coax cable, and it's got the uh, female BNC connectors on, uh, on each end. We'll put that down over there. And then this bag here, right here, this is the... Uh, the soda beams bag and in this particular bag what we have in here uh, we have the uh, the soda beams uh, antenna is carried in uh, this particular little bag here and this comes on a on a winder there it is right there it's about a little over 60 feet long it's got the uh, uh, the little uh, matching unit right here with a BNC uh, mail connector on it. This uh, little carabiner has connected to it a little uh, uh, fastener that's uh, provided by uh, soda beams that this, this slips over the very top section of the soda beams telescoping fiberglass uh, pole and I move the uh, carabiner to pretty much center the uh, N-fed wire and then each of the N-fed uh, wire ends uh, go back and connect up to the uh, two trekking poles that I showed you earlier. So that's our N-fed antenna and then this here uh, wound on this uh, carrier here is the uh, guying system for the uh, soda beams uh, fiberglass pole. You can see the, the ring right here which slips over the pole and then basically there's three uh, guying wires that uh, go into the ground and uh, hold, the, hold the pole in position. These are just a little uh, fasteners on the uh, end of the uh, stay on, on, on the guy stays. And then uh, also in the bag are uh, our three stakes. So we got a couple uh, stakes right here to hold the guy wires. Here's another stake right there. And then we open the bag itself. So let's open the bag. First thing that we have in the bag is the uh, Heil headset and uh, microphone system right here. This is their uh, lightweight system and uh, it's got two plugs on it, a, a stereo plug. You can uh, see uh, right here in this view the stereo plug with the KX2 goes into the uh, headphone jack and then there's a, uh, a, looks more like a mono plug that goes into the uh, microphone jack on the KX2. It also came with a quarter inch uh, uh, foot switch uh, jack that I just, I cut that off because I had no plans on uh, using that. When you use this uh, headphone with the KX2, you put the KX2 in, uh, in box mode and the microphone will activate automatically with your voice and uh, works very very good. Also uh, I carry in the bag a, uh, a small notebook to keep a log of everything that I'm doing out in the field so I take notes with this. It's got a pen, it's got a pocket with uh, other information 
in here, such as uh, I've got a script for CW, so I don't have to spend too much time thinking about what to say. I can just uh, take a look and, and pound away. Uh, in this particular box right here, I carry a SWR meter that I got from uh, Buddy Pole. That's uh, very small, very portable, works really well. I'm very happy with it. Uh, this is uh, the iPortable field antenna SWR analyzer. It uh, analyzes, uh, I think, from 6 meters all the way up to maybe 80 meters for sure. 160 meters perhaps, but I uh, found it uh, works uh, really, really well. <clears throat> now in this bag here we carry the uh, parts to uh, set up the buddy pole antenna and the vertical orientation. So we've got several things in here. Uh, first thing I carry in that bag are the counterpoise wires. I have a counterpoise wire for uh, 40 feet on the right and a counterpoise wire for, uh, not for 40 feet, uh, for 40 meters rather. And then the one on the left is the counterpoise wire for, uh, for 20 meters. Uh, this here is just the uh, adapter between the, the coax and the uh, the coil that you'll see in a few seconds. Here is the uh, the coil that's used, uh, the buddy pole coil. You can see the red. Uh, uh, receptacle is for 40 meters and the yellow receptacle I use for 20 meters and the uh, internal antenna tuner of the KX2 uh, fine tunes the, the tuning. Uh, usually I connect the appropriate length uh, counterpoise wire and adjust the counterpoise wire to get my SWR below 2.0 by adjusting its length and then use the uh, KX2 antenna tuner to uh, fine tune that SWR and usually ends up down around uh, 1.5, 1.3. And then last we have the, uh, the Buddy Pole uh, Versity. Uh, this guy here will screw right on top of my uh, painter's pole uh, using this little receptacle uh, down here, this female. Uh, receptacle and then the uh, the coil screws into the top of this and then my uh, antenna extensions I've got uh, the, the two 22 inch extenders and the four 11 inch plus the nine foot whip so with the eight foot uh, painters pole I'm up there pretty uh, well in terms of the height and uh, I found that to work uh, very very well for me Uh, next, we have the uh, Alacraft radio system, the KX2. Let me uh, unbox this here so we can take a look at what's uh, carried inside of here. In this bag uh, right here, we've got the uh, we've got the AX1 antenna system. You can see on the right the, uh, the aluminum uh, whip antenna. The, uh, the, the two coils are for uh, 40 meters and 20 meters uh, for the counterpoise. That's what the wire there is. And then in the background you can see the two coils for uh, uh, 20 meters and then I've got the 40 meter extender. Uh, I've had really good luck with this uh, antenna in terms of operating both in uh, single sideband and CW, so uh, this antenna really can uh, get out and it's uh, very portable and easy to use. 
Uh, in the bag is an extra set of headphones that I carry with me, uh, just in case, or if I don't want to use the Heil headset. If I'm doing CW and I, all I need to do is listen, I'll use these headphones. Uh, right here we have the, uh, the BioNO battery pack. Uh, this is the, their 3 amp hour battery, 12 volts, 3 amp hours. Uh, works really well for me. Can run a KX2 for a long, long time. Uh, right here is the, uh, uh, the, the little uh, iambic uh, paddle key that attaches to the lower portion of the KX2. And as a backup, I have uh, this little uh, straight key that I got from American Morse products that you can put together. As you can see, it's quite small and it's a fun little key to use as well. And right here is the, uh, the KX2, which is a great little uh, transceiver, operates up to, uh, to 10 watts. And at the bottom of the bag, I, I carry with me this uh, little clamp system that I got from Buddy Pole, and uh, also have an adapter from Elecraft. And this thing here can swivel around in a lot of orientations. Uh, you can see that I've got it arranged uh, with the two male BNC connectors for the coax, and one end, the other BNC uh, male connector uh, fits into the uh, Elecraft AX1 antenna. And the last thing we uh, carry in the bag is the Trekology portable table, which is uh, really an amazing little table. Uh, I'll set it up here for you. Comes in a bag with uh, two parts. This is the uh, the leg system here that just pops right open. Okay, you can see I'm trying to pop it open. Um, goes like that, and then like this. Okay, so there you can see the, uh, the table frame structure. And then we pull out of the bag the table itself, which is held together by these two uh, bands here. The table just pops right open. clips on to either end. So there's the, uh, the table and over there is that, uh, that chair I was talking about earlier. And then we just kind of pan back a little bit and you can see all the stuff that you can get inside that, uh, that backpack. And like I said, it only weighs, uh, weighs 20 pounds. So what I'll be doing in the next videos is I'll be taking you out on some hikes uh, here in the northwestern Ohio area, just outside of Toledo. Show you what it's like uh, to be out in the woods and hike, hike out and uh, set up the antenna system and, and see how all this stuff goes together. So I look forward to coming back and talking to you some more about uh, hiking in the woods with uh, portable ham radio. So this is the Hiking Ham. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Remember, uh, hit the subscribe button. 
And this is Ron, Alpha Alpha 8, Papa India. Talk to you later, 73.